Let's talk about what Grady had to say. He was on Good Morning Football, um, and and he was t- asked a bunch of a bunch of things. And I thought Grady was great, you know, in, in representing the Falcons and talking about all this stuff. First and foremost, Drake London, and what does he think about Drake? And and is he going to surprise some people this season? This is what Grady Jarrett said. Uh, for me, um, obviously, you know, I've been in the NFC South. I'm going to stay in the NFC South with it, too. But for me, I'm going to go Drake London. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's go. Yeah. Tell us about it. Talk about the Falcons. You know, we run the ball. We run the ball. We draft the running back. Um, we do this. We do that. But let me tell you something. I watch this dude work, you know, day in and day out. And I think it's his time to shine, you know. And uh, him and uh, Desmond already got a great rapport. Um, so I'm excited to see Drake London take this next step. You know, you know, big Drake, man. We're going up top. You know how we say, man. So, uh, <laughs> so I'm excited to see him. Man, he's a super tough dude, but he's super, he, I mean, super likable guy. But at the end of the day, he's a dog competitor, and uh, I think Drake London gonna surprise a lot of people. Well, oh, man, I like that. All right, that's good. I, I hope so. Uh, dog competitor. That's Grady Jarrett on Good Morning Football on NFL Network. But he was also talking about Bijan and why not. Offensive Rookie of the Year. Now, you want to talk about being cocky? That's cocky. I ain't arguing. Let's hear Grady Jarrett. Uh, my rookie uh, pick, I mean, people may say I'm biased, whatever. Look, I am. My boy, I'm <laughs> picking my, my guy, B. John Robinson. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking he's going to be have a really good rookie season for us. However it's going to look, I think it's going to be very, very productive. It's just, I mean, I just, I'm just really glad he's my teammate, man. I'm, and I think... Uh, after watching some of his stuff at Texas and just the kind of athlete he is, I think he's going to have a, a really, really good rookie season. So I'm sticking with my guy. You know what I'm saying? And I'm excited to see what he got in store for the league. Me too. Mm-hmm. You see what you've done? Steven. He texts us. He tweets at us. And he says, hey, yo, throw them diamonds up. The dynasty. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. You're getting people overly excited about something that hasn't happened yet. I'm not doing anything. It's all your fault. No, it's not. It's none of my fault. I, you don't want to know what's okay. Ronald Acuna on a record-shattering pace that nobody and no human has ever done in the history of baseball. How about the Braves' to first to 60 wins? All-time franchise record for a franchise that's won, what, 22 division titles over the last 30 years? I mean, it's... The, the Cy Young, uh, you know, first half of Elder and Strider and the 300 strikeout potential and the, the mad, uh, medals, maybe the home run record. It's, it's, it's eight all-stars. It's all that. Go down. I don't know. No, you do, Snit. You understand what I'm talking about. One day at a time. Mm-hmm. Back to the Falcons. What about the best stadiums in the NFL? By the way, what's, what, what's your favorite stadium in the NFL? Do you have one? Well, that you've been to and that you've yes. enjoyed. Yeah, I, my favorite stadium by far is Lambeau. I love Lambeau Field. Love it. Say it again. Lambeau. Hands down. Love it. Love Lambeau Field. And that's, see, my problem with the Bears, like, Soldier Field needs to be where it's at. Yeah, I know. And but they're talking about they, moving it and all that. I know, and I'm just saying, like. Because they want to do the whole battery thing, you know. They want, I know. You know, I know. I know. But I, I love, you're right, Lambo is it. Uh, I love Soldier Field. Uh, trying to think. Oh, in Seattle. Yeah. I mean, no, there are a lot of, there are some great stadiums. Uh, you know, I, Lambo just has a totally different vibe, a totally different feel right in the neighborhood, title town. <laughs> you, just, you know, I mean, it just the just, whole thing just works. You're rolling up and you're like, yeah, you're where, like where is the stadium? It's, it's, it's right kind here. of a, you know, <laughs> lower middle, middle class neighborhood. And you're yeah. like, okay, you know, the small houses, a older neighborhood, really older neighborhood, yeah. you know, built in the 1920s kind of thing. And you're kind of rolling through people's backyards and all of a sudden, stay like, oh, okay. Where is this thing? <laughs> it is kind of funny. Uh, this is what Grady said on which stadium he likes to play in besides Mercedes-Benz Stadium on Good Morning Football. Well, um, for me, uh, other than the stadium that I play in, which I think is one of the best stadiums <laughs> in the um, Say it. NFL, you know, but um, I think I always have fun playing in Seattle. Um, now called Lumen Field. Um, I think the energy that those fans bring out there is is so crazy. Like I even feed off of it as a opponent, you know, going in there because they so loud, they support their guys so hard, man. And I remember um, like back when like the Legion of Boom, like the biggest thing, you know, just being like a fan of the game. They used to have a so have rocking so loud. And as I became a pro and be able to go in there and compete, and uh, I played some really good games there in Seattle. Just, um, just I think it just bringing something out in me. You know what I'm saying? Just so I mean as a as a fan of the game, I think 
to experience a game in Seattle is something a must a must do thing. You won there last year. Oh yeah, we won yeah. there. Oh we yeah, won there yeah. Last he, year. he said that with his chest. Year. Yeah, yeah. We yeah, won had a last clothes year. outside. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> had to, you know, yeah, bring it on home. You yeah, feel yeah, me? You got that place to be quiet. Yeah, yeah, man. Nice. Thanks to the fans, you know. Great. No. Let me ask you this briefly. Sorry yeah, if I can't, Jane. Um, is there a game that you look at your schedule every year where you're like? Man, those fans are ruthless on us. Like um, you gotta say the Saints. Yeah, the Saints, <laughs> man. Yeah, I mean that's Saints. That's it's that. Different. Without a doubt, I mean that's that's gonna happen. You know, yeah. regardless, them Saints fans, they ain't no joke. But um, whenever we used to play Philly a lot, you uh, know, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. my first earlier in my career, we played them a lot. But those fans are ruthless, man. They, they <laughs> <laughs> those Philly fans, are ruthless, man. They, you know, they're gonna get to you every time, especially when we played them like in the playoffs. Like, mm. for yeah, don't remind me, Grady. We should have won that game. First and ten. From the 10. Yeah, Julio. Catch yeah. that. Catch that throw it four times. Uh, you know, I, it does bring up an interesting point that Grady's talking about 12th man in Seattle and all. You know, how I, I, I'm kind of wondering how many pros have a professional football players have a little bit of a letdown going from the the scenes that they played at in college in Athens and Tuscaloosa and Neyland Stadium in Death Valley and LSU and Death Valley and Clemson with the intensity of the crowds and the size of the crowds. It matters. You know, and, and you go into NFL stadiums and sometimes, including ours, sometimes it just isn't all that loud. Yeah. That's going to change. Well, we got to win. That would help.